Hey guys, in this tutorial, I shall show you how to make an IRC bot in Python. Now, IRC stands for Internet Relay Chat, and it is basically how people used to chat before WhatsApp, Telegram, and all that came along. So it's still pretty cool, although not many people use it these days, and it offers some unique features. Bots being among them, of course, Telegram also offers bots, but in this video, we shall be focusing on IRC. And this video is an extension to a post I made in my blog, abguniverse.blogspot.com. So if you haven't checked that out already, the link is in the description. So please do check it out, and it is recommended that you read it before you continue watching this video. Anyway, let's start off. We shall be using free node for this purpose. So let's go to that site right now. We have to go to webchat.freenode.net. That is basically a server, a group of servers actually that hosts IRC stuff. So we hit that load. I'm assuming you know how to create a channel and username and things like that in IRC because otherwise you wouldn't actually be trying to create a bot in the first place. So here we can enter whatever you want. I am um, Game matter 1990. Um, no, that's not my usual username. 8255, yeah. And channel, I guess we can create a hashtag hashtag test channel 1 AGZ. Let that be your channel for now. It's, I think it is non existent, so it should be created automatically. I'm not a robot. Yeah, I'm going to make a robot though. I think I have to check. Um, connect. And there you go. And we have joined test channel 1 AGC. Here on the right, you can see my username Gramatra8055. And you can say hi. And yeah, there you go. We have connected to it. So now bring up your. What are you used to write Python? I am using ID, which comes bundled with Python. You can use 2.7 or 3, it doesn't matter. Um, I have both versions installed and this one is 2.7 it just came out first I guess. So new file and you can close the shell it's not necessary. And uh, there are a few things we need to import first. Import system, import time and import socket. You will understand I will explain the reason why we need, we need all this as we go along. If you have any difficulty reading what I am writing over here. You can get the entire source code at the blog link. The blog link I have given in the description. So yeah, and there are some there is some code right here which you don't really need to remember. I don't want to remember it. It's just you can just keep it somewhere and you can copy paste it whenever you want, like I have done right now. Um, so this is to basically establish connection to the IRC server. And the first line is it creates a variable called IRC and, assi and assigns it to yeah it creates one variable of IRC of the socket object and it connects to the variable server through the port 6667 and the variable server is not defined yet so server is equal to in this case you're using free node so it will be IRC dot free node dot net it's dot net or dot com yeah it's dot net okay and then we have IRC dot set blocking faults, which just ensures that the port remains open for events to trigger even when we are using the bot. And yeah, it doesn't matter if we leave it in there. Time dot sleep is this is why we need to import time because we need to delay the execution sometimes. And the time dot sleep function in Python delays the execution of the whole program by given number of seconds. This is just to ensure we don't end up spamming the server or something. So this is to register the bot user botnik 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 IRC dot send by the way is the function we use to send messages to the IRC server. So we need to send the botnik thrice and this I am mighty right here is a uh, description you can change it whatever you want. Hello I am a test bot. Yeah uh, look again time dot sleep. Then we register a nickname for the bot, which is the same thing we have defined here, and the channel. So we have two variables right here, botnik and channel, which we need to define. So right after server, we have botnik is equal to we can give it whatever we want. I think right now we go for test bot. 
That's a bit too common. We'll go for something cooler. Thor's Warhammer. Yeah, that's good. It's actually called Mjolnir. Never mind. Um, and channel is our channel, which is test channel one AGC. So hashtag hashtag test channel one AGC. There you go. So that should be all the variables that we need for this. And yeah, it's actually surprisingly simple to create a Python bot because this is basically it. You have enough, enough code right here to connect to a server right now. And the next thing we need to do is create a loop. It will be like an infinite loop and everything that your bot does will be inside that loop. So it can receive messages and respond accordingly. So while one ensures it's an infinite loop and we need to receive the text first but for that we need to put in a try catch block um, text which is a new variable irc dot receive or recv 2040 which is the port through which we are receiving it except exception i know it's not a good programming practice to capture all exceptions but right now it doesn't really matter so just, just for the sake of doing it right now pass is a placeholder statement so it doesn't execute anything if there's an exception now the reason why we need this try catch block is that if irc.receive does not return anything it returns an exception it causes an error and if you don't have this try except block in place it can crash the whole program and we don't want that to happen so there you go and and you can close the loop right here and that's pretty much it i like having an input like uh, you know how in c code here gets ch but yeah that's a matter of person so i'll just leave it there and this shall be enough for our bot to connect and receive messages from the server but there's one more thing we need to do before we can actually try connecting the bot uh, we need to we need to make it responsive to pings because server will send us pings and if you don't respond with the pong then the server the, then the server detects that our bot has timed out and it will kick us out the body kick the bot out so so if if text dot find ping not a negative one which means it has found the word ping in text as e dot send Pong. Now remember, what we have to send along with Pong is that after ping, there will be space, a colon, and then some code. It's usually the name of a server. And then we have to send that exact same code in that exact same format with Pong. So it's Pong space plus text dot split one. So what this does, what this does is it takes the text which contains a ping message it splits it at the first white space or space and it takes the second element so after it splits in the first white space as we will soon see the first element will be ping and the second element will be the code that we have to append to pong which is what we are doing right now so we have it like that and yeah uh, we actually need to add slash or slash into end the line yeah, so that will be enough. So that's enough to make the bot connect to the channel, receive messages, and stay online without getting timed out. But before we actually, yeah, I think we should run the bot right now. And once we have made sure this much works, we'll add another line to respond to a text in the chat. Basically, any command. So let's save the bot. We can save it and. Save it anywhere you want. I'm saving it in drive F. We name it IRC bot dot py. Yeah. Okay, there you go. So we, we should run this using command prompt and not using the Python shell. So we navigate to the folder where you saved it and we execute it. There might be errors. Once again, if you need a full source code, you can get it in the link in the description which goes to my blog post 
in my blog atcuniverse.blogspot.com and there you go that is how you make your bot connect to the channel Toas Warhammer has joined hashtag hashtag test channel 1 ADZ is running here right here from your terminal and it can connect and can stay there in the channel so we we'll just close this and has quit ok we we'll go back to our code and one thing I notice is that we have to print the text right here because otherwise it is it will print text because we, we also would like to know what the bot is receiving from the server because we missed a lot right here. We only got a blank screen, so print text so we don't so we can see what the bot is receiving from the server. And then we'll make it respond to a simple command. So let's say hi. So if text dot find um hi we can we usually keep a special sign before a command to make it identifiable as a command so in this case you can just give it hi or it's basically what it does is it searches for the text that it has received and see if it has hi or ping or whatever it is in that text so in this case we are going for hi um, colon here is because all messages start with the colon and the bot receives it we soon see that and the at is there to uniquely identify it as a command we can we can replace that with anything we want or we can just leave it as high it doesn't really matter so in fact we can make this a case instance the comparison so we can have a capital high or a small to high or whatever. so text dot lower dot find high yeah that, that should make it text in some um, case insensitive as well so it defines high not equal to negative one. As e dot send, and this how you message a channel. It's P R I V M S T, which stands for private message space. Our channel name, which we have defined in the variable channel later on, uh, earlier on. Plus space a colon, and then our message. And in this case, we just need to say uh, hello, I guess. So. It, give hello right there and post it with slash and slash n and that should be enough yeah so let's try running that save the program open up command prompt go to the location and and now you can see the things that we are seeing on the server right here we didn't earlier because we did not have the print text line and yeah that's a lot of stuff it works like that There you go. Our bot has joined hashtag hashtag test channel one ABC. Now when we say hi, it should. The reason why we had an at at the front of hi is like this. So if you simply say hi, it nothing happens. But when you say at hi, because we defined at as the command thing, it should return hello. There you go. Oh, that's it. Oh yeah, yeah. We forgot to add something very crucial right there. We didn't clear text because every time this thing loops, it detects the text as still being at high, so it just crashes. So we have to clear the text variable at the end of every loop. And just to be nice to the server, we have to add a delay here as well. Time dot sleep um, point one will do, I guess. So we don't spam the server the requests again. Let's save that and. Here in the command prompt, we can see how a message is being received. This is why we defined that it as at high and a column before it. Here we can see my message right here. And it, all messages start with a column. Um, column at high. And when the bot reads this, it replies with hello. So now we have clear text and our time dot sleep. So we shall run it again. It should be fine. And it should respond properly to our messages. Let that connect, and if we wait long enough, we can also see the ping message coming, and we can see its structure. So I guess we'll wait. And there you go. And this time, it shall not be flooding the channel. 
there you go you can say at high it replaces that hello at capital high since it made the case insensitive it should still reply with hello and anything else it does not say anything at all there you go and the rest of the rest of the development is completely up to you up to your creativity you can it, the rest of it is basically an expensive ladder of course you can have much more complicated bots but as far as simple bots are concerned it's just if else if else if text dot find this text dot find that and you can create simple games or bots like can monitor channels and stuff and if you want if you you might want to read the irc documentation to find out the uh, commands that you have to send to server like here you have priv msg commands that you have to send to kick a user or ban a user or do these the functions the irc documentation of free node can be found in the blog post and once again read the blog post in the description for that and the full source code of what i have typed right here all this the link is in the description and yeah that is the end of this tutorial hope you enjoyed and if you did then please do like and share this is like the second video i'm posting in my channel and the first one after a long while so it will be a great encouragement and subscribe for videos like this in the future i guess so thanks for watching bye